All new tonight, some proof that you can teach any dog some new tricks. Right now, a deaf dog at a local shelter is actually learning sign language. And as WBZ's Julie Lonchek shows us, her teachers hope it will help her find a home. We all have our shortcomings. Oh, now we're going to do down? Good girl. But it's what we do in spite of them. How we rise above them that sets us apart on two legs or on four. Yes, good girl. Pigeon was rescued from a high kill shelter in Kentucky last summer. Definitely one of the staff favorites here. She's two years old, a Dalmatian mix, and she's uniquely unique. She's deaf. And so a lot of people just aren't sure how to deal with a deaf dog, but we've been teaching her hand signals for some of her commands, basic doggy sign language, and things that you would actually use even in training a, a hearing dog. Pigeon has been in and out of foster homes since arriving at the Bay Path Humane Society five months ago. It is a long time for us. She just needs a little patience. And it's just a matter of adapting slightly to be able to get her attention. And once you have that, she's like every other dog in how you interact with her. How to do the hand signals. Since no one is perfect. And that should be perfectly okay. We really want to see her go home. She's so sweet. Um, and she's just <laughs> going to integrate with a family so well. Um, and I, I, she just needs her forever home. Pigeon, as you can see, likes to be the center of attention, so she'd probably do best in a home with no other pets, maybe older children only. Hi. She's kind of a no-brainer. The $350 adoption fee has been waived, and she's going home with a $500 care package. In Hopkinton, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. Raise your hand if you want Oh, my pigeon. gosh, I want that dog. <laughs> oh, oh, adopted man. tomorrow. Now, if you'd like some information on adopting pigeon, check out our website, cbsboston.com, but you better race. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot. Of, that dog what will be adopted tomorrow, beautiful dog. And you, you know how much it would love to be loved. Yeah. Like, it's just wonderful. Beautiful story by Julie. Yep.